Please welcome your host for the evening, renowned actor, Howard University alum, and longtime supporter of Retool Your School, Laz Official. Come on, Laz Alonzo! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? All right, all right, all right. First of all, give yourselves a round of applause. And let's give Home Depot a round of applause. Good evening and welcome to the Home Depot's 2022 Retool Your School Winners Announcement Ceremony. I'm your host, Laz Alonzo. And it's my pleasure to be here tonight as we celebrate and uplift HBCUs across the nation. It's so nice to see so many smiling faces in person, not Zoom. So sick of Zoom. And those joining us on live stream, what's up, y'all? Hello. I guess they're right here. As a proud Howard University alumnus, I know firsthand how HBCUs shape and mold people to live purposeful lives in big and small ways, to contribute to their community, the country, and the world. Now, inspired by that HBCU spirit, the Home Depot started this program, Retool Your School, back in 2009. And I think I've been around almost since around that time. Yeah, uh-huh, that's a few grays up in this beard. From day one, this campus improvement grant program has been committed to help and upgrade and uplift HBCUs so they can continue this vital mission. Now, it's their 13th year. Give it up, y'all. And the enthusiasm and reach of Retool Your School has continued to grow. This year, we had 59 participating HBCUs, and collectively, their students, faculty, staff, alumni, and more cast almost 10 million votes. to help their respective HBCUs win a campus improvement grant. Now, we are here to celebrate and applaud everybody, all the hard work in awarding $1 million in campus improvement grants across 30 HBCUs. <laughs> Plus, we're honoring the one school that was the most innovative in galvanizing the support of their community with a $45,000 Campaign of the Year Award. So everybody's getting paid tonight. Yeah. To make the night even more special, we're going to hear from another HBCU alumnus, uh, Terrence J. Let's give it up for Terrence J. He's also an alumnus of BET, as I am, so we got to shout out BET. But a graduate of North Carolina a and he is going to highlight... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going to answer that one. If you say H-U, I can answer that one. <laughs> you know. All right. A graduate of North Carolina a and he's going to highlight why HBCUs are so important and why it is essential for the work of the Home Depot to continue. To get the night started, let's look at the history and impact of the Home Depot's Retool Your School. Since 1837, historically black colleges and universities have been fulfilling their purpose to educate and empower. Even today, there are students who thrive at HBCUs who would not thrive elsewhere because of the nurturing environment that HBCUs provide. The trajectory of African Americans, and I would even argue the country itself would be dramatically altered. As black Americans continue to face roadblocks to equal opportunity, HBCUs have been more important than ever. Black students still choose HBCUs as havens where they can be seen, be heard, and belong. The history of our institutions, the legacy that we all carry as students and as graduates of that institution, I think is like unlike anywhere else that you've ever been. It's indescribable what you carry as an HBCU graduate. There's just so much pride that powerful HBCU pride, legacy, and commitment inspired the Home Depot to invest in HBCUs across the country. 
Since 2009, the Home Depot's Retool Your School Campus Improvement Grant Program has been powered by purpose to update and uplift HBCU campuses. The contest for Retool Your School meant a lot to me because growing up, I remember getting on Instagram and I would see other schools doing it. People were voting like crazy. And so then when I was like, it's my turn to finally experience it, I was pushing it hard. Like I was voting every day. It is amazing that there is someone out there that is aiming towards the betterment of HBCUs. Today, almost 54 million votes, $5.25 million, and 184 grants later, we remain inspired by the people, the passion, and the power of HBCUs to continue our purpose. And just knowing that um, Home Depot is one of those institutions that you know, decides to focus in on HBCUs to help those schools who get overlooked so much to like beautify themselves and to advance themselves. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Retool your school! Retool your school. We're powered by purpose. You know, when I'm at home, I'm working out every day, I'm eating clean, I'm in the mirror checking out myself. I'm like, okay, I see four abs coming in. All right, we getting there. And I, I feel strong, healthy, and young. And then every now and then, I get reminded that I'm old. When I heard that sister say, growing up, I would watch it on Instagram. We didn't even have, we didn't even have internet. <laughs> when I was growing up. But anyway, I, I, just, I just had a very humbling moment standing right there on the stage, and I had to share that with y'all. Let's please welcome Senior Manager of Multicultural Marketing for the Home Depot, Tiffany Mitsui. all of your faces in here. Thank you all so much for coming. On behalf of the Home Depot, we're honored to welcome all of our schools here tonight and also want to thank Georgia State Senator Tanya Anderson for her support tonight as well. We also have a representative from the governor's um, office, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you all. Really amazing. For nearly two centuries, HBCUs have created positive generational change. Since 2009, and including tonight's winners, the Home Depot has invested over $5 million to support more than 180 campus improvements across the country. And the Home Depot takes great pride in helping them sustain their campuses. We recently met with HBCU alumni, students, and administrators to talk about HBCUs and their needs. Building and infrastructure updates were noted as their greatest need, something that the Home Depot can certainly help with, right guys? Woo! We doubled our investment. Um, we doubled our Retool Your School investment to a million dollars last year, and we're committed to continuing to support upgrading these important learning institutions for years to come. The 2022 program theme is Powered by Purpose, showing what happens when a group of people put their efforts behind supporting a community who has given so much. The Home Depot strives to give back to the, nation, to the nation's HBCUs what they have so generously given to their communities, a strong foundation, renewed purpose, and distinctive character. The Retool Your School program groups schools into clusters based on size of the student body to make the competition equitable. HBCUs had four weeks to get their communities voting nonstop, and believe me, they did not disappoint. In fact, we normally see more votes coming in from social media hashtags, but this year we actually revamped our website, and we believe that that upgrade led to unprecedented traffic, with almost two million votes more cast on our website than with social media hashtags. So give yourselves a round of applause. Our team at the Home Depot were incredibly impressed by the innovative approach taken by the schools. So much so that we want to recognize several schools for their hard work and dedication. We have three what we call superlative awards, so you guys might remember that from high school. 
Um, I want to introduce my trustee team, multi Multicultural Marketing at Home Depot, Nikki Gant, and Mallory Thornton, who will be helping me to give out these awards. So when I call your school, please join Nikki and Mallory at the side of the stage. All right, so first up, the Early Bird Award. With our top-notch vote ranking system, we're able to see second by second the votes that come in for each HBCU. The first official vote of the 2022 campaign year and now Early Bird Award winner is Coahoma Community College! Come on up, come on up. A supporter of Coahoma stayed up to vote 10 seconds after midnight, okay, on February 28th, when officially, uh, when voting started. Congratulations. That is dedication. Thank you. <laughs> Next up is My First Apron. This is an award to first time Retool Your School Award winners. Now we've given out awards to many HBCUs, but I'm so excited when there's you know, a first timer. Um, so we have Edward Waters College. Johnson C. Smith University. Rust College. and St. Augustine's University. Congratulations. There she is. Congratulations. And lastly, lastly, the closer. We saw schools ramp up their voting in the last two days, particularly since we did give them a bonus voting day. There were several placement changes in those final days. It was so exciting to see, just watching the numbers go up and down across all the schools, it was amazing. The school with the most votes in the last two days of voting and winner of the closer award is Wilberforce University. Congratulations to all the schools. Now, it's my great honor to introduce a special video message from the Home Depot's Vice President of Brand Marketing and Creative, Lisa DeStefano, De who will share the impact of Retool Your School and its importance to the Home Depot and its employees. Hello all and good evening. Tonight we are again powered by purpose and it is so great to know that this year you are celebrating together again and what a great place to do it. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to congratulate and celebrate all 30 of our winning schools. Since 2009, the Home Depot has partnered with you to invest in HBCUs. Our partnership together in the Retool Your School program makes our associates proud as we join forces with students, faculty, and alumni to plan and complete campus improvement projects with the goal of enhancing the educational experience over my nine years of involvement, I've had the great honor of seeing the impact that Root Tool Your School program grants have had on HBCUs across the country. From outdoor spaces, for studying and enjoyment, from creating eco labs that promote sustainability on campus, to upgrading health centers for better student experiences, 
The Home Depot is proud of the work we do with our HBCU partners. In 2022, the program theme was again powered by purpose, highlighting what happens when communities put their power behind shared goals and purpose. At the Home Depot, we recognize the significant contributions of HBCUs and their graduates across the country, around the world, and certainly here at the Home Depot. We are proud to give back to the nation's HBCUs in recognition of what they have given to our communities. I can't wait to see what you build, what you create, and what you beautify on your campuses. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. And now the moment we have all gathered here for. On to our winning schools. Right. So we're going to break this up a little bit. We're going to start with cluster one schools. Now, these are the big schools. Cluster one schools have the largest enrollment of more than 4,000 students. Cluster one schools cast almost 2.2 million votes. The top school in Cluster 1 cast 429,755 votes. Let's look at this year's Cluster 1 winners. Cluster number 1, the time has come to announce your winners. 15 HBCUs worked hard to rally more than 2 million votes. Here's who came out on top. Florida A&M University. Prairie View A&M University. Fayetteville State University. Winston-Salem State University. Grambling State University. Albany State University. Southern University and A&M College. Jackson State University. Alabama State University. Alabama A&M University. Congratulations to this year's Cluster One winners. <laughs> That's right. Congratulations to our top 10 in Cluster One, especially to Alabama A&M University for first place. Now, Let's, I'm going to announce all the representatives for East School, and then after they're on the stage, then put your hands together and let's show them some love. So we got Alabama State University, Albany State University, Florida A&M University, Jackson State University, Southern University, and of course, Winston-Salem State University. Let's come on up now. Congratulations. Come on up. How you doing? Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Likewise. That's right. You keep winning. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's give them some love, y'all. More, my bad. All right. <laughs> he had his own personal photographer with him. I ain't mad at him. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Cluster 2 schools. Now, Cluster 2 are those schools with a medium-sized student body enrollment. Cluster 2 schools cast more than 2.2 million votes this year. So they weren't playing around either. The top school in cluster two, cast 409,107 votes. So right under cluster one. Let's give it up for cluster two. These are your winners. Get ready, cluster two. Time to find out which HBCUs won. We've watched 22 schools battle it out for these top 10 spots, casting more than 2 million votes. And the winners are... Hampton University, West Virginia State University, Elizabeth City State University, 
University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, Mississippi Valley State University, South Carolina State University, Benedict College, Tuskegee University, Alcorn State University, Cahoma Community College. Congratulations to the winners of Cluster 2. All right, all right. Just like I did with uh, Cluster 1, congratulations to the top 10 in Cluster 2, especially to Cahoma Community College. This is their fourth appearance in the top 10 in recent years, so y'all ain't messing around. Good job. Here tonight to celebrate their incredible efforts, please welcome the representatives from Coahoma Community College, Alcorn State, Benedict College, Elizabeth City State University, Hampton University, Mississippi Valley State University, South Carolina State University, Tuskegee University, and West Virginia State University. TED Talks flow I'm vibing tonight with the little earpiece and I can walk around freely. We need to do a TED Talk. We gotta figure something out. All right, now we come to our final cluster of schools, cluster number three. Okay, okay. They in the front too. <laughs> they in the front row, they ain't messing around. All right, cluster three schools are the small but mighty schools. We ain't messing with y'all. I already know what the prompter says. Y'all weren't playing. The schools with the smallest student enrollment of 1,200 or less, but make no mistake, they pack a big punch. Watch these numbers. In fact, this year, cluster three schools tip the scale with more total votes than cluster one and two combined. Y'all put that work in, for real. Cluster three schools, watch these numbers. Y'all remember the numbers I said the last two? Cluster three schools had more than 5.5 million votes cast. The top school in cluster three cast 751,257 votes. Let's look at this year's cluster three winners. We have the winners from cluster three. 22 HBCUs put forth their best efforts and cast more than five million votes. And the top 10 are... Rust College. Edward Waters University. St. Augustine's University. Wilberforce University. Southwestern Christian College. Lane College. Johnson C. Smith University. Fisk University. Texas College. Tougaloo College. Congratulations to all 10 Cluster 3 winners. Man. I, I want to go to Tougaloo. <laughs> Y'all ain't playing, boy. I just want to say Tougaloo. <laughs> Congratulations to our top 10 in Cluster 3, especially to Tougaloo College. who came in first place for the second year in a row. So they have a lot to celebrate. So it is our honor to, rep to recognize the representatives from Tougaloo College, Fisk University, Lane College, 
Johnson C. Smith University, Russ College, St. Augustine University, Southwestern Christian College, Texas College, and Wilberforce University. Come on now. the three give it up okay moving right along with the program we have something really special for you tonight we have a conversation speaking of TED talks with actor presenter and North Carolina A&T alumnus Terrence J with the Home Depot senior vice president of human resources Arlette Guthrie, who is a proud graduate of Dillard University. Let's put our hands together and welcome Arlette and Terrence J. Good to see you. What's up, my brother? Ah, yes, sir. Always, always. Come on now. everyone it's so great to see you and of course Terrence thank you so much for joining the Home Depot this evening uh, it is so important to us that we take the opportunity to celebrate the impact and pride of our HBCUs now of course as HBCU graduates you and I know how important it is to really understand uh, the, what this experience does for us I mean it's so special so let's dig into why you chose an HBCU why did you so I chose an HBCU um, for a, a few different reasons, but uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me. How you guys doing? <laughs> and I'm getting distracted as I'm talking to you. This jacket is so fly <laughs> with the orange. I'm sitting there looking like, does the orange in the jacket perfectly match the T-shirt? And the, you yeah, see the kind of. That's I how see, we I do see, it. You know, so I had to. I had to take a minute to take a look at that. And then everybody in the room looks so good. How you guys doing? Man, so Arla, I, I chose an HBCU for, for rooms like this, yeah. for this vibe. My mom had me at a really young age. Uh, she had me when she was 17, and I didn't want to go to college, but it was her dream for me to go to college because she wasn't able to. So she said, look, just go for one year, and you see how you like it. And uh, I, I was living in North Carolina. I applied to a bunch of different schools, mm -hmm. but North Carolina a t is the only school that accepted me. And when I started, I was on academic probation. Uh, I probably started with like a two point something GPA and I graduated with a 3.8 GPA. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and it's just a testament to, you know, HBCUs, they nurture us, they spend the time with us. You get that individual attention and it, and it completely changed my life and has me here with you today. No, and I can relate to that completely. You're right, it absolutely changes the trajectory. So now, what was so special about your time at North Carolina a and I met this girl and she just, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, true though, um, I was, uh, the, the, the girl that I was dating in college, she was so much smarter than me. And so she would like, you know, when I was uh, having problems in certain classes, oh. she helped me out. Um, when I joined Omega Psi Phi, my frat brothers oh. uh, uh, helped me out. <laughs> Um, the the Sorors, the, the Deltas, actually uh, paid my, my fee so I could become a, a member of Omega Psi Phi. So I have brothers and sisters um, in the frat that have supported me since day one. Mm -hmm. um, and I was student body president, like I said, so that's where I started my public speaking. Yeah. Um, and so all of those things, you know, uh, helped you know, me become the, the man that I am today. But think about what he said. 
on academic probation, became the student body president. Where else would you get someone to believe in you, to invest in you? The, the family that HBCUs bring for all of us is definitely a distinguishing factor. So now tell me what you see as the legacy and the impact of HBCUs. What does it mean to you? I mean, well, well we're, we're getting deeper and we're stronger than ever. And, you know, from the White House to yeah. some of the most Come on, incredible, give it up. <laughs> you know, life-changing uh, people in the world came from HBCUs. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my favorite actors, uh, Chadwick Boseman, is a testament yes. to the level of education and the, the curation and, you know, the high, uh, you know, the high level that we produce f with students. And there are no more conversations of us having a, you know, a secondary type of college experience. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, from the technology to the professors, from our campuses to the experience on campus, it's of the highest level. We're competing against students at the highest level. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm so proud of where we've come. I'm so proud of where we are. But more than all of that, I'm, I'm excited about where we're going. That's right. Now, of course, you continue to work with our HBCUs in many different capacities, whether it is uh, hosting events, speaking on panels, and so much more. Why is that important to you? When, when I think about where you are, you certainly have choices, but why do you do it? And what, what impact does that have on your career trajectory? You know, I, I, I would be remiss to not say that there's a, a selfish part of it. I enjoy, and I, I almost feel like I get, my battery gets recharged yeah. every time I'm in a room like this. You know, when I'm doing something like the Oscars, I just did the Oscars, which was incredible. Yeah. Um, but you're there and it's, it, it's, a, it's a different type of atmosphere and vibe. Mm -hmm. When I'm around, you know, <laughs> HBCUs, when I'm around and, and, and trash talking in the back on what school is the best, <laughs> and, you know, trash talking to other fraternities, and so, when we have it, whose homecoming is the best moments, I mean, there's just nothing better than the love and the camaraderie uh, that we experience and that we share. And it's a lifelong thing. Mm -hmm. And so for me, anytime I can have a, an opportunity to come and give back, uh, I, I do it because I, you know, I, I want to benefit. Yeah. But for me, I just, I love the experience. I love it. It's part of my, my DNA and I'm, I'm always honored to be here. So it's home. It's home, it's home. Very nice. Now, I like how you segue that in, Home Depot. Well, I, I, was, home. I, was, I was going so, to throw it in there. I, I was waiting. But, but you know, what's interesting about what you said is that you feel comfortable. You feel like you're with people who love you, who support you. And that re that's really what it's about. And you mentioned the, the phrase giving back. Certainly Home Depot sees giving back as one of our most important values. So I really appreciate you for taking the time because this is one of those opportunities. Now, when you think about your HBCU education, how has it contributed to your success? Oh, in, in every aspect of my career. Um, one of the most uh, important film franchises that I'm a part of, mm -hmm. Think Like a Man, my business partner, in that is, is Will Packer. Will yeah. Packer is an alpha that graduated from FAMU. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Steve Harvey, who wrote the book, you know, is a member of Omega Psi Phi. Yes. Um, when I was at BET, always had executives that came from an HBCU background, always would have executives that came from, cut from the same cloth. So when you look at those relationships early on, mm -hmm. when Will Packer is now producing the Oscars 10 years later, our relationship and our bond is still intact. Right. So the opportunities that are created that other people create for me, and then the jobs and the opportunities that I try to create for others. Mm -hmm. Whenever I see a resume come from somebody from an HBCU, you know, it's not about looking out, it's, it's the fact that I know what they've been through and I know that they're the best and the brightest and they're gonna bring it. That's right. And so, and, you know, with the, to add a little more specificity, 
my education was was second to none. Mm -hmm. All of the things, all of the 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 training wheels that I had yeah. um, when I first picked up a microphone, when I first started on my first on campus television show, on campus radio show, promoting my on campus stuff. You know, uh, hosting Mr. Aggie Fest and hosting <laughs> the talent show and sure. taking road trips down to Clark Atlanta. All those and things were preparing. You. All of those things prepared. prepared. Very nice. Now, everybody wants to know this. You mentioned Think Like a Man. What projects are you working on right now? Oh, right now, I'm so excited. So I have a, a horror film coming out um, that I'm what? really, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> scary movie uh, and it's, it's got an incredible cast. Um, it was a phenomenal director named Dion Taylor. Uh, so that'll be coming out this summer. Um, and then I'm, I'm producing stuff all the time. I have a ton of films in the works. And you know, my key ingredient though is stuff like this. I'm the national ambassador for the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. And I just, thank you. I just, uh, I just turned 40 last week. And it's my mission Happy statement. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's my mission statement this year uh, to, to raise more money to give back. And so I'll be calling you right after this. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's, my, it's, my, it's my pride and joy. And that's why I'm so happy that I'm doing this program. Um, I was watching an episode of Atlanta uh, on the plane ride coming here. And in the episode, um, they were going, they were like doing work with an organization that was trying to become good in the black community mm -hmm. that really wasn't. Mm -hmm. And it's so imperative that the actual Fortune 500 companies do the work. And that's why I'm so proud of you, that's why I'm so proud of Home Depot, and that's why I'm so honored to join you guys, because you guys do real work in our community, and it's, it's, it's organic, yeah. and it's natural, and I applaud you. you know, I applaud you. Listen, we can't thank you enough, first of all, for your authenticity, for the fact that you live the value that Home Depot has of giving back very clearly in your life. And so everybody, let's give a big hand to Terrence J. Can I say one more thing? Sure, absolutely. You know, we, we've been talking about me, but I'm sitting next to an HBCU graduate as well. <laughs> one of the highest ranking African Americans at this incredible Fortune 500 company who came out of school and the soror. And so, you know, it, I'm, I'm equally as proud of you and equally as proud to be sitting here with you because you're doing your thing as well. So thank you for having me. Well said, Terrence J, everybody. <laughs> about y'all but I'm burning up in here man I don't see no church fans in the back like y'all y'all are just too cool for me I'm over here in a wet t-shirt contest trying to keep it clean you know we, we down south I ain't trying to offend nobody but man it's hot last year one school accomplished a special feat and that school was take a wild guess They won their respective cluster and Campaign of the Year. Campaign of the Year is that award for the most creative and original marketing campaign to galvanize voters. That meant Tougaloo took home a grant of $120,000 in 2021, the biggest grant in Retool Your School history. Now, we thought it was worth highlighting tonight, so let's take a look back at I love my H in front of my B, my B in front of my C. I love my H, B, C, U, Tougaloo. Tougaloo has a wonderful history that goes all the way back to the Amistad case. When the slaves who were a part of that case actually won and the American Missionary Association raised those dollars. 
to get them back to their homeland. And with the dollars they had left, they came back to America and started five colleges. And Tougaloo is one of those colleges. We're 153 years this year. And this district is listed on the historical registry. Just about all of our buildings, about 10 of them, are on the registry list. That means we just can't tear down and erect new buildings. We gotta preserve them. I didn't know anything about Home Depot Retail Your School until I got here two years ago. This was a great opportunity to help some of the preservation work that we want to do on campus. Tougaloo College was one of our biggest winners in 2021. They won Campaign of the Year and first place in their cluster. So they won a total of $120,000. They used their funding to update historic academic centers by upgrading lighting, cabinetry, to make a more comfortable environment for their students to study and connect with fellow students. I feel like being the winner of our cluster, as well as the Campaign of the Year Award, it means a lot to Tougaloo students. You know, we're this small institution and we feel like we may not be seen at some times, but with this, we feel like we have just that same amount of impact as the other bigger schools. The projects that the Retool Your School grant was used for on campus has been the Jamison Hall. There were office spaces re renovated, as well as, as the Kinchlow Hall project, where uh, different classrooms as well as office spaces and bathrooms were upgraded. My favorite Retool Your School project are the bathroom improvements made in Kinchlow. The LED light mirrors allow us to take selfies in our free time in between classes. The secret to Tougaloo winning is our alumni. Our students are energized by the love that our alumni have for this institution. Tougaloo knows how to retool your school. 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 Okay, so I have a request for Tougaloo. From now on, when all your students are taking selfies in the bathroom, they have to tag Retool Your School. They gotta shout out the program. Can we do that? Okay, all right. Now, on to this year's Campaign of the Year. 22 schools from all three clusters enter this part of the competition. Now, you don't have to win a campus improvement grant in your cluster to win Campaign of the Year. There was so much creativity and originality on display for this year's competition, we want y'all to see it for yourselves. I am Christopher Battle. I'm Kevin Newport. Dr. Crystal Barger. Vote now. Vote from Texas College. Get all your friends, get all your family. Everybody go in and put in the vote. Have you ever tried this? You see the hashtag right here. Follow us on social media and vote so we can retool our school. Vote for the mother of the South, Shaw University. St. Augustine University. Wilberforce Force University. What about the State University? All you have to do is utilize this hashtag here or click the link right below. Shaw you. The campaign of the year was judged by a panel of Home Depot marketing leaders. The judges noted that it was particularly difficult to narrow down the finalists for Campaign of the Year. As always, our HBCUs showed up and showed out. The submissions were also brilliant. I actually think we might have some future Home Depot marketers on our hands. Here are the finalists for Campaign of the Year. Texas College. Alabama, Alabama State University and Hampton University. Funny enough, our finalists actually represented each cluster, so that's super exciting. When I announce the winner, please join me on stage. 
And the winner of the 2022 Retool Your School Campaign of the Year Award is... Alabama State University! See, I should have never said nothing about my TED Talks. <laughs> oh, it was going so well. So tonight, we celebrated not only HBCUs, but also the Retool Your School mission to help uplift and upgrade their campuses. Right? One million dollars was given away tonight. But more importantly, it signals the Home Depot's continued effort to support our community with a deep and lasting commitment. For years, I've supported this program. The Retool Your School program is something that I am committed to supporting forever. It really speaks to me and what they're doing, not just putting money, but also putting time, resources behind helping these schools achieve these goals. It ain't just, here's a check, figure it out. It's okay, how can we work with you throughout the year so that you can accomplish these goals that you want. So the Home Depot is, is doing something that's very amazing and I just wanna say thank you for continuing to help all these HBCUs out year in and year out. Thank you for listening to me tonight. Thank you Terrence J and thank you DJ Storming. And most importantly, thank all of you. Everybody in this room, everybody that's online, watching us live right now, keep following along on this journey as the winning HBCUs start working on their campus projects. Make sure you log in to www.retoolyourschool.com. Yes, I said www. I, I can't get out of it. It's just, it's, it's, it's programmed in me. Or follow us, matter of fact, not or, Go on the website and follow us on social media at Retool Your School on Instagram and Facebook. And on Twitter, it's at Home Depot Retool. Okay? Come back next year where we're going to do it all over again, folks, and write the next chapter of Retool Your School. Good night and God bless you all. Thank you.